If you've always wanted animal sperm in your face, then this is the treatment for you. If I've put you off already and you absolutely don't want that in your face, then you don't need to watch anymore. Now, I'm not trying to be funny. That is genuinely where we get polynucleotides like this come from. You essentially have to masturbate the salmon, and then once you've done what you need to, you sell it to a doctor that can inject it into a patient's face. Now. I know it's a disgusting thought, but it's a trend now because it's new and a lot of marketing is going into polynucleotides. And whenever you get something new and money is thrown into its marketing, it becomes the, the latest sexy thing that doctors say you have to have. It happens all the time, like with antioxidants and, and vitamin C and more over the years. But honestly, polynucleotides, for me at least, they just don't stack up when you look at the data and what's actually happening in the skin, which is what I'm about to show you. The first thing to see is that they talk about making things like collagen in the skin. But these companies count on you now not knowing that there are 28 different types of collagen. So if you ask them which types they make, they'll say type one and three at least to start with. These aren't that useful in, in tightening the face when compared to other types. One and three just sit in the dermis, which is the second layer of the skin. Whereas types 17, four and seven go through the skin layers like a toothpick goes through a burger to keep all the layers nice and tight together. They create a, a vertical structure, whereas one and three are creating horizontal structures that so don't go through the layers. Increasing one and three is like adding layers or patties into your burger. It doesn't mean the whole thing is tight together at all. It just means there's more things to try and keep connected now. Whereas if you increase 17, four and seven, then you have a much more resilient structure that doesn't fall apart when you try to eat it. And even if the polynucleotide brand you use can have some claim on those tightening types, they don't seem to produce the maximum amount, and that's key. I did an event a while ago on uh, Harley Street in London with the key opinion leader for a polynucleotide brand called Philart from a company called Chroma. Now, I have nothing bad to say about this brand, but the key opinion leader, who's called Saeed Hack, admitted when we were being asked questions from the audience that his polynucleotide brand made, and I quote, a bit of type four and seven as well, as well as one and three after saying initially that it only made one and three. But why would I want a bit of four and seven? Why would I not want the most? Because there is a product out there in the world of skin injectables that produces the most amount of these tightening structures. And it does it without putting animal sperm products into your face and without increasing or without inciting inflammation led protein creation like some products. He uses homeostasis and, and physiology slash health improvement instead. If you use inflammation, you're very likely to just make type one because that's the body's default defense. For example, when we have an injury and get a scar, that'll be type one collagen. That's why so many products on the market work by creating inflammation like poly -L lactic acid. You know, generally they don't know how to improve the physiology, so they just create stress instead. As well as that, can polynucleotides claim and prove that they make the most amount of elastin of all products too? Because remember, it's not collagen that makes the skin elastic like a child's skin. It's elastin, hence why it's named the way it is, elasticity. The same other product I'm referring to here can prove that it does make in, you know, the most amount of elastin of all skin booster products in the world, again, with physiological improvement rather than increasing inflammation or stress. Not that you know, polynucleotides, all polynucleotides work exclusively by increasing inflammation. So let me put it to you this way. On one side, you have polynucleotides, which mainly produce collagen one and three, which don't create vertical tightening structures like a toothpick through a burger, remember? And they make a bit of type four and seven. On the other hand, we have another injectable that also creates one and three as expected, but it also produces the most amount of the tightening types of collagen, as well as elastin and fibronectin in the highest amounts too. And it's patented to prove it. And as a bonus, no salmon masturbation takes place in order to get it to you either. All of these things that I've said, as far as I'm aware, are facts too. So please don't think this is me giving an opinion because I'm not. Because to say that these particular proteins are produced, for example, that has nothing to do with what I think. It's, it's a fact. Whether you like it uh, or this video or not, 
And I, and I want to speak to you in this way so that you can see there's no marketing for you to feel that there's an opinion being pushed onto you. If you don't like the fact that I'm saying polynucleotides can't claim to make the most amount of, say, collagen type 7 in a, in a physiological way, then you don't want polynucleotide treatment. Now, for the name of this other product that I refer to, I don't want this video to be an advert, but if you're interested in it, just comment below and I'll happily tell you what the name is if, if you are genuinely interested. And if you really want to see this type of analysis of, of which skin injectable is better in massive detail and based on checkable facts rather than opinions, then I'll link a video, a video, a video below that I made which goes into this particular area of education to teach you, you know, skin tightening very, very deeply.